Electricity. We talk about electricity today. Electricity in your community. Electricity? Yeah, that's right. We're going to be learning about electricity. A lot of you may not even know what electricity is. You use it all the time, but you may not know it. Where does it come from? How do we make it? Woo! That's what we're going to talk about today. So let's do that. Hey, what is electricity? A lot of people don't even understand what it is. Well, electricity is essentially electrons that move. You probably know this, but <coughs> excuse me. Every atom has protons with a positive charge, neutrons and no charge, and electrons. And the protons and neutrons are actually found in the center of the atom, and the elect electrons kind of whir around them. Well, it turns out that if you can get those electrons to move through something, typically through a wire, then you can make electricity. It's a flow of a current. Of course, we use that energy for a variety of things. We use it for heat. You can heat your house with electricity. Some of you might do that. Not very often that you do that, though. We use it for light, light bulbs, like the light bulb over here. We use it for electric devices, such as iPods, cell phones, TVs. I mean, we use electricity for everything. I'm looking at a computer right now as I make this podcast. As you watch this podcast, it's you being used by some electricity. So that's what electricity is, okay? What it is. So therefore, electric energy is the energy associated with the generation and transmission of electricity. Generation, what does that mean? That means making the electricity, okay? And transmission means uh, moving it to a place that's usable. You probably understand that there are things called power plants, electric power plants, where the electricity is generated, that's made, and then it has to get somewhere, uh, most likely to your house, to the school here, or somewhere else. So you have to move it somewhere, okay? We measure electricity in something called a watt hour. Okay, um, essentially electric energy is the power times the time. So if you have a 100 watt light bulb, so this is a watt light bulb, and I keep it on for uh, two hours, all right, then that 100 times two would be 200, and we would say watt hours of energy has been used. Sometimes when we talk about larger scales energy, we talk about a kilowatt hour, a kWh. A kilowatt hour, one kilowatt hour, is equal to 1,000 watt hours. A kilo means, and when we talk about really large scale, like how much energy is coming from a power plant, we use the mWh, which stands for megawatt hour, which is a million watt hours. Okay, so power plants usually have so many million watt hours. When you uh, check your bill at the uh, on 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 the, the the bill, your electric bill, um, it measures how many kilowatt hours you used at your house in a month or something like that. And if you're looking at it for just a short period of time, you might just use the watt hour. Okay, electricity generation. How do we move? How do we? Uh, generate electricity. It is essentially generated by the movement of a loop of wire or a disk of copper between the poles of a magnet. You say, what? It's very simple. All you need to make electricity is a magnet and some wire. Really? Is that right? Yes, you can. In fact, tell you what, let's do a short video clip where Mr. Bergman, taped by the esteemed Dr. Boyer, we make electricity right here in the lab. So where, where do we make electricity? Or how is electricity made? Well, it's actually very simple. Here I have a magnet, a tiny little magnet, and I have a coil of, of wire. So I've coiled a bunch of wire around, and down here I have a device that can measure electricity. It's a voltmeter. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, um, the magnet, I'm going to move it in and out of the coil of, water, of wire, and as I move it in and out, we can see that I'm creating a voltage. Okay, So the key thing to understand, folks, is that if you can move a wire around a magnet or a magnet around a wire, you can make electricity. It's as simple as that. So essentially, making electricity is very simple. A wire and a magnet. Now I want you to look at this picture right here. This is a steam turbine generator.
This is now done, not in, in my hand, but on a large scale. Here we have this man, and essentially what they have is they have a loop. I'm not sure it, what the design is. There's two kinds of designs. They're going to have, uh, they have to get this to turn. We'll talk about how they get it to turn. They basically have a huge spool of wire right here. In the middle of it, they have a magnet. So they can spin the wire around the magnet, or spin the wire around the, the magnet around the wire. And they have to get it so that it turns somehow. They get this th huge thing that's under here, and it just turns. Now, it doesn't turn by itself. You have to have some force that turns it. But if you can get something to turn, and in the case of the experiment that I was just doing, I was using my hand to do that. But it can be done um, somehow else. All right. Now, how do we do this? Well, we have uh, a number of sources. The first source is called a fossil fuel. Fossils! This is a fuel derived from materials, mainly coal, petroleum, and natural gas, that were generated from fossil organic matter and stored deep in the earth for a long time. So basically, uh, dead things. <laughs> so th something died, and it got turned into natural gas, or coal, or petroleum. 70% of the electricity that we use in the United States come from these sources. In fact, here in Teller County, near uh, Colorado Springs, I would say it's a much higher percentage than 70% for us. Okay, so how do we actually get this converted? Well, it's something called a turbine, and we've already, I've kind of alluded to this. The turbine is basically a magnet and wires spinning. So you have two options, right? You can either have the, the wire, this is a coil of wire, and then you have a magnet in the center of it. And then you have some way you know, in the, the, to spin the magnet, or the wire. Or, conversely, you could also have the coil of wire, and you can have the magnet in the center and cause it to spin. So you've got to get one of the things to spin. But how do you get it to spin? You have to have some energy. I mean, is there like a little, is there a little uh, mouse? It doesn't look like a mouse. Is he uh, running on a treadmill? Causing it to spin? No. You've got to get something to spin it. Okay. Here is the different options. The most common one is we burn things. So if we burn things, uh, coal, oil, etc., we have steam that goes through a pipe. Okay. And if that steam goes through the pipe, that hot steam turns these turbine blades. So like we create like wind, if you will, by uh, boiling water. So we've got some place over here where we uh, have a fire. And we boil water, and then we have steam come off. And that steam makes these turbines turn. And as you can see, here's the magnetic field in the coiled uh, wire cylinder. So the magnet um, is on the inside. In this particular page, we have the magnet in the middle, and we're coiling, and that makes electricity. Here's the electricity. So you just need to turn things. So one thing we can do is we can uh, burn things. And when we burn things that create steam, the steam turns the turbine. The turbine turns the magnet over the wires. Okay. Another option is nuclear energy. All right. For nuclear energy, what they do is they have um, a reaction containment vessel. This is where the nuclear reaction takes place. And this purple right here is just water. And they pass this cold water. They pass this water through, right, you know, like through here. It passes through here. And then it hits another thing, a sealed system filled with, well, uh, water. And this takes this water. They don't ever let the purple part, which is one of the uh, more dangerous uh, water. It never comes in contact with this water. This gets really, really hot. This is a, like a metal pipe of some kind. And it boils this water. So we have boiled water, and we have a steam turbine. So basically, we have, instead of burning things, we have this nuclear reaction taking place right Right here, and then it causes water to boil. The water uh, t turns the turbines over a magnet and a coil, and it makes electricity. And then, if they have too much excess heat, they have it go through this big steam exhaust system. Okay.